tell how Calvino's book, uh, Invisible Cities, has had a, uh, it's a masterpiece which has had an enormous impact, I think, on many artists. I know many artists who have made works inspired by this book. And I myself was very inspired when I first read it in the, in the 80s. Uh, I made two uh, major uh, art, interactive art installations at that time. One in, uh, I think, 1986, The Narrative Landscape, and then another in 1989, which was The Legible City. And both of these, as I said, were very strongly influenced by my uh, enthusiasm uh, for, for Italo Calvino's book. Um, I think what Calvino did is that he um, exposed the, uh, let's say, the urban landscape, uh, the urban geography, and transformed it into a sort of psychogeography of the histories of, of narrative. Right? So he transformed uh, cities into a narrative experience, and in so doing gave layers of richness and depth to, uh, to our understanding of, uh, of the urban landscape, which uh, was not there before. Now, of course, the previous projects which I mentioned to you are projects which I initiated. And these are um, art installations meant to go into a gallery, inter interactive installations. Uh, the current work is uh, initiated by another team and comes out of theatre, comes out of dance, and comes out of video and cinematic post-production. So, and also there is a very clear uh, authorial um, sort of um, presence behind the, this work. My contribution is mainly focused on being able to bring about uh, this uh, motion capture uh, component, being able to give uh, the team the opportunity to motion capture dancers and then take this data uh, and transform it into uh, what will become a VR experience. What's new about this project that we're doing here today is uh, that we are actually developing uh, a language of dance and uh, let's say the videographic transformation of uh, dance uh, data into a VR experience, into something which uh, uh, can go online and which can be shared uh, in, in the sort of VR platform. Uh, and this is a, a new initiative for us. Certainly going to the theatre and sitting in a theatre in that social environment for an hour or two is a very special experience and something which we really can enjoy. At the same time, one can have very, very intense experience, even in the time frame of f five minutes. And I'm sure that all the creative energies that are going into this project are focused on bringing uh, a full intensity and full quality of experience into that, uh, that five-minute window. For me, uh, a good experience can take a minute and can take an hour, it can take a day here. Yeah? I mean, I don't think one measures uh, the quality of uh, an artistic achievement by its, uh, its uh, time frame. So what is this? This is a box. Okay, I'm going to open the box. Fest box. Wonderful looking box. What's inside? Wow. What is that? <laughs> It so, looks like a piece of a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> what part of the city is this fragment? Okay. Well, um, let me give you a slightly poetic answer, right? Uh, let's imagine that it has a different shape, right? And that when I'm looking at it from this direction, I see an A. And when I turn it in this direction, I see a 2. And when I turn it this direction, I see a Z. And when I turn it again, I see another two. So what is this telling me? A to Z to A to Z. Everything is here. That's what we're looking forward to. <laughs>